Dave Steckel, University of Missouri. That's one reason they love Coach Steck at Missouri. And you've heard the old saying that defense wins championships. That adage applies to the 2014 Missouri Tigers. Mizzou's offense was ranked 101st in the country this season. Dave Steckel's big play Mizzou D was ranked 23rd nationally in total defense and 26th in scoring defense. Steckel's Tigers also led the SEC in sacks and were second in the conference in tackles for losses. Dave Steckel could have been a finalist a year ago. His big play D was a key to the Tigers' storybook 12-2 season. The defense ranked 5th nationally in interceptions, 8th in total turnovers, 9th in tackles for losses, and 12th in quarterback sacks, all of which were SEC leading figures. Steckel lost three players the NFL off that defense, but that hasn't stopped the 2014 Tiger defense from posting better numbers in just about every major defensive category. In his 14 seasons at Mizzou, Coach Steckel has had at least one of his linebackers earn all-league recognition in all but one year, including two each in nine seasons. Today, Missouri's associate head coach and defensive coordinator Dave Steckel is on the receiving end of a very prestigious honor. He's a Broyles Award finalist. I'm very, very humbled and uh, honored to be here. And just like the other coaches have said, I'm only standing here because I have some really good players. You know, uh, they, they play really hard for me. We actually have a love-rate relationship. You know, I love them and they hate me, but <laughs> it kind of works out in the big picture of life. I'd first like to take the opportunity, Coach Broyles, to, to be here with you. And to have my name even associated in the same sentence as yours is, is unbelievably humbling. Um, to the other finalists, you know, it's great. Um, I think Lane, uh, I got to actually address Lane because one, I think that was very respectful of you that you kept Herm's name out of the uh, story. <laughs> but I'm really disappointed that you didn't listen to Coach Saban when he was saying, run the ball. <laughs> now, the one distinction I can tell you of why you could probably see I'm the defensive coordinator, even though uh, David wants to think I'm a mean, honorary guy. Do you notice these really sharp, handsome, good-looking offensive coordinators? They don't have the gray hair because they don't have to defend themselves. <laughs> I, I got to thank God also because, you know, Coach Broyles said today at that uh, great little breakfast we had with just the coaches and him that he lived a charmed life. And uh, to, to know my background and where I came from, wow, have I been blessed. Um, First, I got blessed with a wife, Mary Beth, who uh, I don't want to lose on it because we've been married for a long time, and my players think that they got to put up with me. I said, you got to be as tough as Mary Beth. She's put up with me for 28 years. She's tough. And uh, we started off on this journey, and, uh, you know, we've really been blessed to be in Missouri for 14 years because before that, I, I had a road map that went from high school to Division III to 1AA to 1A, back to 1AA, and... And she followed me every step of the way, so I'm very appreciative of that. It, you know, we started off at such a low-level pay grade. Her dad and her brother, actually, her brother was a junior in high school. It's a true story. And we were kind of living in the basement of this place. And they came to uh, watch one of our games. So they left, and I came home from work that day, and there was a $5 bill on our counter. Well, I just found out this past summer on a little summer vacation that Joey left it there because he felt so bad that we were so poor. <laughs> and you make a lot of sacrifices in this business, and uh, I, I couldn't have made them without my wife, so thank you. Um, lastly, uh, not lastly, but, you know, to tell a little bit about myself, when I started this journey, when I got done with high school football, I, I went to the Marine Corps. And uh, trust me, I, I have such a big heart of gold for our military and service for what they do. Uh, but the truth is I went to the military because I was an idiot. 
And uh, again, after the Marine Corps, I got blessed to be able to go to uh, Kutztown. You know, you know, Dave didn't say I went to Kutztown because all these other guys played at all these great places and, and they don't even know where Kutztown is. But <laughs> Her Herm, Herm played at a small school also, but, but Herm, went, his school was so small, they can't spell Kutztown, <laughs> okay? And uh, our claim to frame, I guess, was uh, Andre Reed made the Hall of Fame this year, so it gave Kutztown a little ink. And, and, but I went to that Marine Corps and went to Kutztown and then started this unbelievable journey that has led me up here that uh, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm standing up here, to be quite frank with you. But I'm, I'm humbled, I'm honored. Um, I can't thank Dental, uh, Delta Dental, uh, Little Rock Rotary. I really appreciate you having him here. Tom and Lori took care of us as our hosts. And uh, the last person I really like to thank is uh, Gary Pinkle, because uh, you know coaches get hired, they get fired. Oh, wait a minute, those guys haven't been fired, but I've been fired. And uh, Gary Pinkle, Took <laughs> see, see that lane? We have a lot in common. <laughs> Point well made. But uh, Gary Pinkle, the head football coach at Missouri, took me off the street. I was with him at uh, Toledo. I went to Rutgers because I'm an East Coast guy and uh, was chasing that dream. And, and I got fired. And Gary Pinkle took me back off the street. That's a loyal man. It's a, a man I owe an awful lot to for uh, the success and, and the opportunity I have to be a defensive coordinator. So I'll stop rambling. I wish I had some more jokes to be able to abuse the uh, candidates up here. Uh, Coach Darnduzzi, thanks for having a defensive guy here with me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody.